I teach entrepreneurship and intrapreneurship. I teach both at the undergraduate as well as in the MBA school, and then I teach executive programs. I started out in Silicon Valley after graduate school, and I set up a, a software product company at that time. And it, you know, it was good timing, and we actually were able to exit very fast at the height of the dot-com craze. We were able to sell the company to a much larger company. Um, following that, I moved out to Asia, so really, for the last eight or nine years, I've been working with small companies as an angel investor and as an advisor, either on the board or just as an informal advisor. I'm an online judge, which means that I'm going to be part of a team that's looking at the business plans before they make it to show. Angels Gate has been very collaborative with NUS, so we've had the chance to really work with the show design, think about the questions that they're going to be asking, and I've been part of the NUS team that's been helping Angels Gate do that. Getting your bills now is a little bit like this. There is no grand prize. Everyone has an equal chance to walk away with funding. You get access to some of Asia's largest venture funds and all the connections that come with them. In looking at the, the show format, it's definitely going to be gripping. And I think that that drama is going to bring much more attention to the entrepreneurship space and you know, make it more sexy, which is going to bring more young entrepreneurs into the field. Exuberance is part of being a successful entrepreneur. And I expect all of the entrepreneurs who come onto the show to be extremely fanatical about their ideas. They love their ideas. They should be running through this presentation 265 times with friends, family, and if possible, strangers. Um, really just to get comfortable. In reality, uh, improvisation is mostly practice. It feels like you're just improving when you're on the spot, but that's never true. Uh, the best improv artists always practice many, many, many times. Hi judges, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Daryl. Along with me, I have Brian. Together, we represent Intrex. Two months ago, we were at a town council meeting. We met up with this lady called Miss Tan. Miss Tan came up with us with a huge Electricity bill. In Trex, we see ourselves as a software company. In fact, we are looking at hardware partners. For example, NEC, Panasonic. We just recently talked to them at the Cleantech Expo. In regards to the questions that the investors will ask the entrepreneurs on the show, what the entrepreneurs have to realize is that this is a sales moment. Right? It's, not a, it's not an opportunity to inform the investors about what they're doing. It's their opportunity to persuade the investors to put money in. This is a sale. And I think what's critical about that is to understand the customer. And in this case, the customer are investors. I would say there's three things that, that I think have contributed to my success. First is finding the right people and then hiring them for more than they're worth, but training them so that they, I pay them far less than what they're worth. Um, the second thing is relentless focus on c customer value, making sure that what you're providing is really solving a, a real value. And the third aspect is focus on exit. And that's actually something that a lot of entrepreneurs don't focus on. I'm actually looking for folks who have failed. Now, I don't want them to have the exact same failure again and again and again. That doesn't make sense. That's, that's a crazy person. My, but I do want to see people who are making mistakes over time. So maybe once a quarter, a big screw up. That's what I'm looking for. Because it shows me that this is a person who's really stretching themselves, who's pushing themselves beyond their limits. And that's what's gonna make a good entrepreneur.